I am doing a basic tutorial on how to install a graphics card, a 30 series graphics card, this little baby here. This is a Zotec RTX 3070 series and at the time of making this video it cost just over 800 pounds so it's not cheap and you might be thinking I'd like to buy one of them and I'd like to be able to install it. So I am going to show you how to install one, just going to do a basic installation but there are some key features you need to know before you actually install one. And one of them being, you need to make sure you've powered off the computer, you've unplugged it from the mains, and you wear a wristband, a static wristband. I don't actually wear one, I've never worn one, but the manufacturers on computers, computer components, recommend you to wear an anti-static wristband. So if you do it without wearing one, you do so at your own risk. Some other components you need to know about, and that is power supply. You need to make sure that your power supply is enough to not only power up the computer, but your graphics card. There are websites out there that will tell you how much power you need, depending on your components. I have a thousand watt. I know, I know for a fact that 1000 watt power supply for this setup is more than enough for what I'm about to do. So uh, with that, let's get on with it. This video is sponsored by Sahara Gaming. I've teamed up with them to bring you a £20 discount on their all-in-one water cooling system. Check out the link in the video description for more details. This discount will only last till September 2022. After that, you pay the normal price. So with that, let's get back to the video. Also, I've had a bit of a clean up. I've got the vacuum cleaner out onto it. Oh, and that's another thing. You shouldn't use a vacuum cleaner, but it's the easiest way to clean it because again, any static can actually damage the components. So first things first, remove your cover like I've already done. There's no point in me showing you how to remove the cover because every computer case is different. I don't know what computer case you've got, I can only show you one that I've got. So I had a glass panel and there are two screws holding it in, just undone that. You will also need a flip screwdriver, this little baby, or posi drive, whatever you want to call it. So first things first, we need to remove the old graphics card. This is quite an old graphics card, believe it or not. And it should be, there's a little clip under there for your power. So you just push that in towards the actual power unit and give it a little wiggle and it should come out. There you go. See these little clips here? Just hold them open and that releases it from there. Yeah? Easy enough to do. Now then, there is a screw. Normally you'd find a screw on the inside, but I can actually get to mine from the outside. side. Let me show you. Let me turn it around so you can see it. There. There's the screw that holds in the graphics card. So all I've got to do is undo that little baby. That will help to relieve it. That's what you need the screwdriver for. Yeah, put that to one side. Bring it back round. Now then, I have a little catch to release it as well. There's a little lever inside, right inside there. Make sure you can see it. There's a little lever right there. You might find you might have more than one, one screw holding in your graphics card. On my other computer, I have three screws holding it in. But on this one, there's only one. So hold the little lever in. It's a little bit tricky. But push it towards the motherboard and it should release it. And there you go. Also, before before you uh, take the graphics card out, the other thing, if you've got connections, cables, make sure you unplug them first. Mine had already been unplugged because, you know, I've moved it out of the way and put it on my desk. Yeah, Little simple things like that you might forget. The other thing is, before we put the graphics card in, make sure, if it's your first time, don't rush it. Take your time. And when you power it on, if it doesn't work, don't panic. You probably missed something and then 
just go back over it again and make sure you've done everything correct because even professionals, computer builders, they sometimes forget to do something. And it could be something really simple like you forgot to plug in the power supply to the graphics card. This will not work without power. So something you need to make sure. Like I said, do not panic. I'll probably need some extra screws actually, but we will see. So like I said, make sure you've got enough power for your new graphics card. Also make sure it's compatible with your motherboard. Most motherboard manufacturers now are built for PCIe connections, which is what this is, and it should just plug and play, providing you plug everything in. This is, you know, hopefully a very powerful graphics card, or a lot more powerful than this old baby here. This is quite old, but it's in very good nick, considering how old it is. So, again, like I said, make sure you take your time, put it into the top slot if you can. So I have three PCI connections, and I can put it in there or there. That one's slightly different but it will go in there but we're going to put it in the top slot because I always put them in the top slot if I can right I need to remove an extra cover which or maybe an extra two covers because like I said it's a bigger graphics card so it's going to go in there and will I have to what one will I have to remove second one down definitely So again, I'll turn it around. So I need to remove this. Now this is quite easy to do. It's sort of like a bit of a bendy sort of situation. Bend it and give it a little wiggle and that and it should come out. But you might find yours is held in by screws, which is a lot easier. But this is a budget case. And I know what you might be thinking, well, why are you putting it in that budget case when you've got that really expensive one over there? Because, because I'm going to be upgrading that one in the future as well. So get back there again. Right, see that? Yeah. It's got little metal clips holding it in place. But a lot of um, computer cases will have little screws holding them in, and you just undo the screws. So once these have come out, you can't use them again. So just make sure you take the right ones out. Hopefully I'll take the right ones out. I'm going to find out in a second. So that will go in now. And yeah, I will show you in a second. Hang on, let me fit her in. So all you do is gently push her in. That little clip that you have to press to take the other graphics card out should just clip in a place which it has. And there is a bit of sag there at the moment. Right, next thing to do is put the screws in, hold it into place. Again, I'm going to turn it around. So I've got one at the moment. Ideally, I'll probably want to put two in there. That's my preference. That's how I prefer to do it. And I'm going to stick one in now. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the best place to put it. Hopefully, hopefully my head won't be in the way too much. Well, I did cut a little bit because my head was in the way and I thought there was no point in filming that bit and I couldn't find the hole to get the screw in. <laughs> so uh, I've got it in now, but I haven't done it up tight and the reason for that is because it is an ideal opportunity to lift it up a little bit before you finish off doing it up nice and tightly. Yeah? Just give it a little lift. Don't go excessive, just give it a little lift. So that is now done up. A couple of other things I need to mention to you. One being static again. You should, before even starting work, touch a bit of metal or something just to get rid of any static that might be on your body. You know, computer case itself as well. Just to make sure there's no static on you or reducing the risk of static. So anyway, that is now installed. We need to plug in the power. Now then. Will that fit? Yes, it will. Now this needs eight, so I have a six and a six plus two and a two. 
which are these little babies here. So I need to put these in. And hopefully that cable is long enough, which it is. And make sure you put it in the right way. I'm just going to make sure I've got it all set up properly. So that one is for that one, and that one is for that one. So that goes there. And that one goes there. Hopefully you can see this. Hopefully. And it's upside down. So I need to rewrite range that, so I need to turn it over, because it needs to go the other way up. Right, so I've turned the cable over, so it's ready to go in. So I'm going to put the one in on the right first, hopefully. Put the little odd one in first, because it's a lot easier. Well, it is for me anyway. And it won't clip in, because it doesn't have a clip. The clip's on that one, the six. Can you see that okay? Just make sure that these go over the little notches and lock in the place. And make sure the ones that are on their own are just pushed in. So that should be it. You shouldn't need anything else. Like I said, you might need three screws to hold it. You might need two or one. This really only needs one, so that's all I'm going to be using. Make sure you've got the power in. And then put it all back, wherever it's going to go. Make sure... This might sound sunny, uh, funny, believe it or not, but make sure you plug in all your connections, your HDMI cable or your uh, display port cable, whatever cables you're going to be using. Make sure you plug it into the graphics card and into your monitor because, again, sometimes these little things get missed out and people go, oh, it's not working. Well, you haven't plugged everything in, that's why. So uh, I'm going to put it back under the desk. Actually, no, what I will do, better still, is I will plug it in, sitting on the desk, onto one of my monitors, and I'm going to give her a little test, see if she works. Right, so you plug in your cable, and that could be HDMI cable or DisplayPort cable. I prefer DisplayPort, but for this, I'm using HDMI because the monitor we are going to be using, that one over there, that is HDMI or DVI. It doesn't have DisplayPort connection. Which is a shame, but it is quite old. But perfect for this little performance. So that is plugged into your computer and also into your monitor. Make sure you set your monitor up for the cable connection you plug your monitor in. I've set mine for HDMI 1, so when I turn it on, it should go straight, to, straight there and come up and say, Oh, look, I'm working. Also, make sure your power uh, cable is plugged into your power and the switch is in the on position again might sound silly you might think well oh, i know that but even professionals sometimes go and turn it on and go oh, it's not working oh i forgot to turn on the switch and hopefully if all works well i should be able to turn it on and it should just work hopefully so it's all lit up which looks very pretty, by the way. And monitor's starting up, so that says to me, everything's working. Now, you might want to update your graphics drivers, and hopefully Windows will tell you to do that. If not, you will have to uh, manually do it. And quite simple to do, but let me know in the comments whether you think you know, you'd like to see a video on that, on how to uh, update your, your graphics drivers. Like I said, it is really easy to do. So that is it. That is a basic tutorial on how to install a RTX 30 series graphics card. But before we go, there's something else you need to know. Make sure your case is big enough for the graphics card. Because this is quite a small graphics card and it's quite a small case. There are bigger graphics or longer graphics cards. So make sure before you even buy it, You've measured up the inside to make sure it fit. You'd be surprised how many times people have gone, oh, I just bought this great big graphics card and it don't fit in my case. I need to buy a new computer case. So with that, let me know in the comments what you think about this video, whether you found it informative and helpful or not. Let me know. It'd be interesting to know what you think. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thank you very much for watching. 
It works. It's me.